I want to share an example of how teachers can use Snagit to easily create screencast videos for their classroom. Here I'm going to show how you can write on a presentation slide using PowerPoint and a Wacom Bamboo tablet. So for this example, I want to be able to explain how to balance the chemical equation for the combustion of methane for my students. Now in order to best explain that, I really need to be able to draw on my screen as I'm walking through those steps for my students. Now in order to do this, what I've done is I've created a PowerPoint slide with the, the problem along the top in text, and then there's a lot of white space underneath that I can use to draw on. I'm also using something called a Wacom Bamboo Tablet, and it really it looks like a fancy mouse pad and a, and a stylus pen. But what it does is when I plug that into the computer, it makes it very, or it, the computer thinks that that's the mouse and it's a lot easier to write with something that looks like a pen than trying to do it with my actual mouse or, uh, or on the, the trackpad. So here's how we do this. In order to make this video, um, I've already started up Snagit, so that's why you're seeing this recording. But I also need to go and, and hit play on my PowerPoint slide. And once that is up, you'll notice that down here in the lower left hand corner, there's a few invisible icons. Now one of those icons is a pen. And this is, once again, this is in PowerPoint. So when I select that, and I select my, my pen, now I can go and draw on my, on my slides. So once I have this up and running, what I can do is I can go through and start explaining this problem as my students see me writing on the pen. So I can talk about how you need to go and divide this in half and how you start out with your, what are called your reactants. And then over here are your products. And then uh, we talk about how we need to have the, the same kind of elements on each side. So here I have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Over here I have the same thing, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Then we count them up. So in this case I have one mole of carbon and I have four moles of hydrogen and two moles of oxygen. And then over on the product side I have one mole of carbon. I have two moles of hydrogen and two plus three, or two plus one is three moles of oxygen and then I can keep going through the rest of the process but what you see here is that not only are my students able to hear my voice as I explain this but they're also able to watch me writing through the process itself.